two bars of the beat and then a two bar fill. Here we go. Ended on the snare drum of the crash then. Here's the harder version. And now I'll end, I'll do them both again, but I'll end with a double kick, right? And now the hard version, also with a double kick. Here we go. Alright, in this lesson, we are continuing on with the sixes and nines idea from the previous lesson. Although this time, instead of going right-left kick, we're going left-right kick. So we're just reversing the sticking and it gets a bit of a different sounding phrase. So, once again, it's a two-bar phrase. The first bar was sixes, which was two, three, four, one. And then in the second bar, and once again, I'll teach it to you in levels like I did in the first video we went into nines, all right? So nine notes per beat. That's how I'll teach it to you. This time, the left hand has that kind of triplet reference, right? And the other notes fall around that. And then eventually, instead of doing that, like, where only the beats get the snare, then to kick it up that next level, which kind of sounds polyrhythmic, you then go, etc. Okay, so when you put them together, that sounds like this. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the lesson. We'd really love you to scroll down and click the free trial link below for I Can Play Drums Pro. Over 704K lessons, 2,000 backing tracks, regular student reviews, and a thriving community that you'll be welcomed into. You won't be charged until after the trial period, and you can cancel at any time before then. We'd love to see you there. Back to the show. So what we're going to do is play a two-bar phrase on the front of it, so we've got a two bar beat and then a two bar fill. And so you've got, to, you've got to match the same tempo, right? So let's bring the tempo right back. We're gonna go one, bar two, right? So this is really slow. Da, 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 da. I'm subdividing and here we go. Bar two. All right, so once again, as we talked about in the first video, if you're finding it difficult transitioning from the sixes to the nines, especially that final variation where we go back and forth, which I haven't really done yet, you might just want to start out with the left hand and getting used to what that feels like, right? So the left hand in the bar of six is just doing eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. And then it goes into triplets. One and a two and a three and a four and a one. So you want to spend time just with your left hand doing that, right? One, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, one. All right. One and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one. And then put everything else with that. So you can either do, like you noticed before, I was maybe doing the first one like. All right, or, so that's the right hand on snare, or you can just put your right hand straight on floor tom. All right, so it's now one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, 
So you see in that second version there, I did that final kind of level of going. Okay, and in the beginning, if it helps, you can hit uh, those beats a little harder. If it helps, identify where you're up to in the bar. It's always, you always got to know where you are in relation to that pulse, right? That underlying pulse, all right? Once you can do that, then you can start mucking around with the speed a little bit, all right? So let's take it up a tiny bit. Two bars of the beat and then a two bar fill. Here we go. Ended on the snare drum with the crash there. Here's the harder version. And now I'll end, I'll do them both again, but I'll end with a double kick, right? And now the hard version, also with the double kick. Here we go. So that's what's going on there. Again, this is not an easy thing to play, but it is a lot of fun and it's really going to test your counting and your ability to play in different uh, subdivisions one after the other. And I think that's really difficult. When we play in subdivisions one after the other that kind of divide into each other, it's always a little easier for the brain to pull that off. Like if you go from eighth notes into sixteenth notes, we know sixteenths are twice as fast as eighths. Or if you're going from like eighth note triplets into sixteenth triplets, again, they're exactly twice as fast, right? But when you go from um, you know, uh, sixes into nines, there's no kind of common ground there. You just have to kind of launch into uh, and have faith <laughs> in that second rhythm, right? In this instance, the nine. So you just got to be, you know, confident with that. Back yourself, do it really slow, practice to a metronome and have fun with it. So that's it. We've now done both, right? There was the first one from the previous video. Sound like this. It was right, left kick. Sounds like this. And now, left, right, kick. Sounds like this. There you go, guys. Have fun with it.